Hi Scorpio, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. This will be general and love. Uh, so we'll get the general energy and the love energy for you uh, this week. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. So let's get into it, Scorpio. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing the Scorpio with a clear, concise message from you. All right. Oof, I'm burning too much sage. <clears throat> the window's open. Anyway. Okay, so the general energy for Scorpio is the Ace of Wands. Very nice. So, um... You're at a place of igniting, starting something, throwing your hat in the ring, um, physically doing something, traveling, getting up, getting out there. Um, you're up for the challenge, whatever it may be. You could be an entrepreneur. You could be a clairvoyant psychic. You are really putting yourself out there. Um, you're starting something new too. This card talks, talks about health, wealth, happiness so it could be along the lines of that you know whatever you doing whatever you're doing um, will affect your health wealth happiness this this is also traveling traveling with a, a loved one or wanting to travel to a loved one that's the overall energy let's clarify that the star card so Scorpio you could want to travel to a person maybe even to have reconciliation reunion rejuvenation to heal a connection something about you were holding back reframing from going to this person or vice versa this is what they were doing or you both were doing this but now there needs to be some compassion some truth and clarity love forgiveness is what someone is asking for here um you could look at this person as a friend or they were in your friend group or you guys have the same group of friends or you did business with this person. Um, you could reach out to them via technology or them, you, you know, um, what's that email, text, call, something, some mode of communication where you are trying to restore, to uh, have a reunion here or this is what this person is doing. Let's see what the love energy is for you, Scorpio. The love energy is the high priestess. Okay, so this could be you, or this is uh, someone that you are interested in. Uh, this person, um, okay, so there is separation because there's a decision that needs to be made about this person, maybe another person, a lifestyle change, somebody needs to divorce, needs to be single, needs to make a choice of, you know, a decision about who they want to be with. I don't know. There's a decision that needs to be made here. Therefore, also, this is like a secret woman here. You could be the secret woman, Scorpio, or there is a secret woman in within your connection here. Um, they're just playing the background. They're doing nothing in terms of this connection, not, you know, exerting any force, any energy. They just sit and wait. They already know something. You know, so Scorpio, this could be how you're looking at this person here. Um, you could be wanting to go towards this person. They're not doing anything. You can't read them. They're very mysterious woman. They're very alluring. You find them attractive, unattainable, desirable. You want to maybe even have sex with this person. You Maybe it was like mind-blowing sex for you or the other person here uh, with the high priestess. Um, you find this woman very intriguing. She could work from home or have her home business or do something where she keeps record of her books or this is even real estate here. Um, anyhow, um, in love, it looks like a decision needs to be made. The two of you are estranged or apart. Someone is doing nothing in order to bring you two back together. It could be the feminine energy you could feel like this is your divine feminine or someone feels this way about you, Scorpio. Let's clarify here. We have the Four of Cups. Yeah, um, maybe Scorpio, you feel like you're going to be rejected. You may be internalizing all of your emotions. Therefore, you're doing nothing. 
but staying stuck stagnant in a place of uh, maybe depression um, shoulda coulda waters resentment regret you wanting to go towards someone but not knowing if you will be if it will be re well received you feel like you missed an opportunity or someone feels this way about you someone feels like they missed the blessing that was right before them they they were too busy doing and looking at other stuff and looking at other people and looking at the you know just their focus was elsewhere and they missed the blessing the gift that was this person this relationship you Scorpio could have missed the blessing or someone else did let's get an outcome here for general seven of cups so it looks like someone's going to be wishful thinking all up in their head that's your energy Scorpio the seven of cups here fantasizing romanticizing daydreaming doing nothing procrastinating wanting to, sh to fire the gun but not doing so wanting to reach out but not doing so um at a place of just um nostalgia yeah nostalgia and it's taking over you and it's putting putting in a place where you're doing nothing there's procrastination there's stagnation here You'd be trying to manifest with your emotions or your thoughts or trying to penetrate someone else's thoughts or emotions. The outcome here is maybe you feeling like, you know, you're going to have to be silver tongued or honey tongued to get this person back. You're willing to say anything. Yeah. Let's clarify love. Well, let's get an outcome for love. And we have judgment. Your energy is all over this Scorpio. Again, a decision needs to be made in love. We got the High Priestess, which is a two card, which is directly related to the Judgment card, which reduces to two. Um, a decision needs to be made. You want to make some snap decision to go back to someone to rekindle, renew. What I don't see in the reading is any offer. There's no, there's nothing being offered, but it's definitely someone longing for a specific person. But to be in someone's energy, it has to be mutually, mutually beneficial. There has to be an exchange made. It seems as if e either it's you, Scorpio, or the other person. They just want to be in your energy, in your presence, in your life, offering nothing. Nothing of value to you. It seems as if that you are very valuable to them and they need you back. Someone wants you to make a snap decision about coming back together, about forgiveness, about healing this uh, severed tie. Someone feels like you guys are better together than apart. Someone just wants you to let bygones be bygones or this is you, Scorpio. This is your reading. Um... I hope that it resonates for you. I hope that you took something from the reading. If you did, go over to the website, book your reading there. Take advantage of the text question. Also, we have a full moon coming up. Get in on the full moon ritual. If you want to manifest new in your life, if you want to banish the old, get in on the ritual. The link is below. Thank you, Scorpio. Many blessings to you.